guys welcome back so I decided to do something different today I decided to actually go outside because it's around 86 degrees and it's so beautiful and I just couldn't resist I wanted to do something different and I wanted to chill outside a little bit by the way I hope you cannot hear the AC that's running here right next to me it's very loud but I can't do anything about it um, so I wanted to quickly review this fragrance. This is from Villain Perfumery and it's called Poet of Berlin. Now I don't have the box from this fragrance. I actually got this off of eBay. This was sold out on every single website a few months ago and this just like popped out on eBay and I was like, oh my god, yes, I have to get it. And I got this for a very, very nice price. Crazy cheap. I don't know if the person didn't know what, you know, they were selling it or what. But, yeah, it was crazy cheap. So I got really lucky. I had a sample of this perfume a few months ago. And I'm not gonna lie, I did not like it the first time I tried it. And the reason why I did not like it was because of the opening. This is basically a green vanilla scent and so the opening is a very very green in here. It kind of reminds me of the opening from Sintra by Memo. If you know what that one smells like, the opening in my opinion is pretty similar and it's basically kind of bitter and it's just very very green. So that opening kind of pushed me away, it kind of smelled like a, bu like a bug spray to me. And I was like, uh-uh, I do not like it. And I was like, why do people like this perfume, you know? I was kind of confused. But after it started drying down, the dry down is absolutely beautiful. It's like the most unique vanilla scent ever. Oh my god, it just smells so, so good. Now, I don't remember all of the notes. I think there's lemon in here, blueberry. I know there's bamboo in here. I think there's also iris or something like that. I believe there's woody notes in here and, um, of course, vanilla. But when you look at the notes, like you would not expect this fragrance to smell um, the way it smells, basically. Because it smells, like I said, very green and kind of harsh in the opening. And then it does dry to like this nice vanilla scent that's very sweet. But, yeah. Uh, a lot of people say that this smells like a blueberry cake, blueberry pie. I, to be honest, I don't smell any blueberries in here. To me, it just smells very green and vanilla. It's definitely a very unique vanilla fragrance. I definitely smell the bamboo in here, but I don't really know what's giving it that greenness. I'm guessing it's the bamboo because it's very strong in here. So regarding the performance, the performance in my opinion is not the best. I read for Grantica and people are saying that, you know, it has a great lasting power, it projects like crazy, and it does project the first 30-15 minutes or so and then it basically sits close to the skin, which I do not like, and I always overspray this. And even though I overspray this, I feel like it still fades um, pretty quickly, and then I have to reapply it again. And I mean, for the price, now I got this cheap, but this retails, I believe, for 150 for 50 ml, and then if you want 100 ml, it's around 240 or 250. So it's it's pretty pricey. And so when you have to respray a fragrance that's this expensive, um, it's kind of upsetting, you know what I mean? By the way, the cap in here is magnetic, as you can see. I think the bottle is very cute. The juice is like a bright orange color. And I tried a lot of fragrances from this house, and I'm going to say that this is my favorite so far. I tried Mango Skin. I also tried, what was it, Room Service, I think. I liked room service, but um, I liked it out of the sample. And then once I actually purchased the bottle, I did not like it. I thought it smelled very harsh, kind of like a cleaning supply, and so I ended up returning it basically. It's definitely my favorite. 
Oh yeah, I also tried Dear Polly, which I thought was okay. It kind of has like um, Baccarat Rouge vibes, especially in the opening. But uh, like I wasn't crazy about it. It's a nice fragrance, but nothing new, nothing special or anything like that. This is definitely unique and it became a staple in my collection. And I know that I will definitely be repurchasing this fragrance. Now, like I said, the performance is not the best. It does last, but if it sits that close to the skin, then what is the point of having a fragrance? You know what I'm like at that point, it's just not a fragrance anymore if you have to stick your nose in the spot where you sprayed it. So, yeah, the performance is not the best, unfortunately. However, the scent is absolutely amazing. If you have this in your collection, let me know what you think. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.